everyone in this video i am going to cover one part of session 2 of unit 2 electronic spreadsheet and in this video i am going to cover these topics of the session 2 first one is identifying sheets second one is inserting new sheets third one is renaming worksheets and fourth one is referencing other sheets now just to explain all these points practically i am going to use open office calc so now moving to the open office calc so now open office calc is on the screen and the first one here is identifying the sheets so now in a workbook of open office calc how can we identify sheets that we should know so here just above the status bar you can notice sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 these three sheets are right now available and uh, at this time i have opened sheet 1 worksheet so by using sheet tabs that are available here we can identify worksheets in workbook so right now you can see three sheets are available here and whenever you want to open a particular sheet just click on that sheet and thereafter we will get that particular sheet on the screen so this is the one how can we identify sheet in a open office calc workbook now next is how can we insert new sheets so as you have seen here that we are getting by default three sheets sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 but sometime more than three sheets are needed in the workbook so we have to insert new sheets also in the workbook so how that can be done so first of all here i am considering one situation that as well i want to enter marks of class 10th students of all the six subjects separately on each sheet so in that case as six subjects are there including it so i have to include here or insert here three more sheets because three are already available so here the how can we insert sheets in this workbook so there are three methods of inserting sheets in the workbook first one is what that for example i want to insert one sheet in between sheet 1 and sheet 2 so for that i have to select either of these two sheets so i have selected sheet 2 and thereafter just right click and as i click mouse button i am getting here insert sheet option and as i clicked on the insert sheet option i am getting here insert sheet of window and here i have to provide details before current sheet or after current sheet so as i have selected sheet 2 and i want to insert one sheet in between sheet 1 and sheet 2 so for that the new sheet will come before sheet 2 so that's why here i have to select before current sheet option after that next one is sheet so new sheet here we are entering so this option is selected there are a number of sheets so how many sheets we want to enter so here right now we are getting one but at a time we can add one or more sheets and thereafter here we can give name to the sheet also right default name is sheet 4 and one more option is available here that is from files so if you want to add sheet from other files so that is also possible just select this option and thereafter click on the browse and then select that file so here as i am going to add one blank sheet so for that i am using this new sheet option and thereafter i am clicking on the okay option so here now you may notice that in between sheet 1 and sheet 2 i am getting here sheet 4 that is a new sheet so this is the one way of inserting sheet in open office calc now second method is what as you can see after the sheet 3 some blank area is available so as i am double clicking on this blank area i am getting again the same new insert sheet window and by using the same insert sheet window again i can insert the sheet so this is the second method for inserting the sheet in the workbook and the third method is we are getting here on the menu bar insert tab so as i clicked on the insert tab here i am getting one menu and in this menu this sheet option i can use to insert the sheet and again i am getting insert sheet window here uh, so here you have seen that there are three methods of inserting the sheet in the open office calc document so this is one now after this next one is renaming worksheets so previously you have seen how can we insert the sheet and uh, whenever we are inserting the sheet we are getting default name that is sheet 1 sheet 2 sheet 3 and sheet 4 in this way but whatever data that particular sheet is containing according to that we can change the name of the worksheet also so that i am going to show you how is it possible and uh, how can we rename the worksheet so uh, here as you can see now that we are getting this sheet first as the sheet 1 name this is the sheet 4 but i want to give name to this sheet one as english because this first sheet is going to contain marks of english subject in the same manner sheet 4 name will be replaced by hindi then mathematics so how can we rename these sheet names so again three methods are there first one is just select the sheet and then after right click and as i click right mouse button here i am getting rename sheet option so this option is selected and then after i am giving name to this sheet as english 
and thereafter okay so here now you can see that i have renamed my first worksheet so this is the first method now second one is what i want to rename this sheet for also so just click twice on the sheet name so as i click twice on the sheet name i am getting here again rename sheet window and i am going to give name to this worksheet as hindi so this is the second method to rename a sheet and the third one is what as i want to rename this sheet to as mathematics so this is selected and there after here on the menu bar we are getting format tab so this format tab is selected and there after here i am getting the sheet option in the menu and in the sheet option i am getting here rename option so again i am getting that rename sheet window and here i am giving the name as mathematics so in this way the sheet 2 is also renamed as mathematics so you can see now here so in this way we can rename a sheet as per the data that particular sheet is containing or will contain so this is one now moving to the next one now next one is referencing other sheets now referencing other sheet means what that here we can access the data or use the data in the formula or function that is available on other worksheets so this i am going to show you how we can reference other sheets so for that again i am moving back to open office calc document so here i am now on the open office document and uh, just to explain this here i am going to add some data so now here you can see uh, that in the english worksheet i have entered data of two students ajay and mohan in the hindi worksheet also this is uh, marks of hindi subject of again same students and in mathematics worksheet mathematics marks of again same students now what i want to do i want to calculate percentage of these two students in sheet 3 so for that now uh, here as i am going to calculate percentage of ajay and mohan on this sheet 3 i am just going to rename this worksheet also so i am going to give name to this worksheet as percentage and okay so now i want to calculate percentage of these two students on this percentage worksheet but marks are available in three different worksheets so here i am going to access the data from other worksheet so how this can be done so i am just starting this so i am going to enter formula in this cell so for that i have to use equal symbol and after that first of all i am going to add marks of all the three subjects so move to the english worksheet and there after english marks i have selected and there after plus then moving to the hindi worksheet and there after hindi marks also selected then again plus and there after mathematics worksheet and mathematics marks are also selected and there after bracket close now moving to the percentage so here you can see that worksheet name we are getting first of all there after the cell name that is containing marks and here you can see dot is there so this dot is separating worksheet name and the cell reference so here what we have done we are just adding the value of b5 cell of english worksheet with value of b4 cell of hindi worksheet with value of b5 cell of mathematics worksheet so here all the three subject marks i have added and this result i have to multiply by 100 and that i have to divide by 300 so directly i am writing divide by 3 and thereafter enter key so now here you can see i have calculated percentage of ajay and that is 70.33 now in the same manner we can calculate percentage of mohan also so just see the method once again so equal there after bracket open after that english worksheet marks selected then plus there after hindi worksheet marks of hindi subject selected then plus there after math worksheets and there after marks of mathematics subject selected and there after moving to the percentage worksheet and here closing bracket there after divide by 3 so here we are getting the result 70.67 so in this way we have accessed the data of the other worksheets in this percentage worksheet so this was the last topic of this video now remaining part of the session 2 will be covered in the next video so this video i am going to end here